Okay, so continuing to address questions here for USMLE. Forev, Forev asks within the Telegram group, hey Michael, hope you're doing well, I have a question. Is UWorld plus NBME enough for male slash female repro or should I add some other resources? I can easily answer this question. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for USMLE. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find us on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now how about I address the fucking question, which is from Forev, Forev. Michael, hope you're doing well. I have a question. Is URL plus NBME enough for male slash female repro? Or should I add some other resources? Look, uh, this is a popular question. What you are going to want to do is, yes, uh, UWorld uh, as your standard QBank, and you're going to cover all of the repro-related questions in there. Yes, you are going to be doing NBME's minimum 20 through 30, as I've talked about in many of my other clips, and you're going to be getting lots of repro questions interspersed within those forms, very important. And then in terms of actual resources, I would say at this point in time, you are going to want to do the first aid repro chapter, okay? Uh, very standard, okay? So this point in time, July, end of July 2021, you can do the repro chapter for from first aid, and you can also do my OBGYN high yield PDF. That's for free on my website. Now students immediately say, well, wait, Michael, is that like heavy, heavy 2CK or is that for step one? The answer is it's mixed. You will easily be able to see within that PDF if something is very clinical, but there's lots of step one material in there. My advice is just look at the fucking PDF because regardless, all of the information is super high yield and stuff that I've extracted from NBME exams, okay? So it's worth your time. If you want to boost your repro as much as possible, you're going to be doing as many questions as you can from UWorld, the NBMEs, you're gonna do the first day chapter for repro, and you're gonna look at my high yield OBGYN PDF, and you'll be able to sift out what's very clinical versus, oh yeah, that's very like step one like, okay? That's a good use of your time. Very concise answer here. If you have more questions, drop comments below. And if you like my content, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.